Hey guys, Pitchrock Stack here, and I'm back with another great video for you guys today. And guess what? I picked up my one tenth gold coin for the month of September. Nine months down, three more to go. I can't believe we only have three months to go until 2023. It's crazy. You don't realize how quick time goes. Um, but yeah, it just flies past you. So, anyways, I picked up another one tenth. Um, I do like the one tenth ounce uh, gold coins. I would have to say they are my second favorite. My favorite gold to stack is uh, one ounce coins. It's just your best bang for your buck, and uh, you just can't beat a one ounce gold coin. So those are my go to. But I also believe in fractional gold. I think it's extremely important to have some fractional in the stack. So when I want fractional gold, I go to the one tenth. And then obviously, my one ounce. For you know, stacking mainly stacking for you know just getting the most gold for your buck, and it's just uh, the best way to stack gold in my opinion is buying by the ounce. But like I said, fractional one tenth uh, gold coins are my second favorite, and then after that I'm pretty tied between the quarter ounce and half ounce. But I think I would probably lean more towards the half ounce um, versus the quarter ounce. But at the end of the day, it's all gold. You just can't beat gold. But, um, so I got another Britannia. Um, this one's a 2021, I believe. Um, I picked this up for a damn good price. I couldn't pass it up. And, uh, also that, you know, the queen has passed away. You know, rest in peace. Why not get a Britannia? So uh, I picked this up, and uh, that's my one tenth for the year. Let's uh, pop it out of this bag here. I'm gonna put it in a capsule. I just don't have capsules right in front of me right now. It's kind of a last minute throw up video quick type deal. I can't even open this, hold on. But yeah, no, uh, I don't have that many Britannias. Um, I do have a few 110th Britannias, um, but I don't have many Silver Britannias or anything like that. I honestly don't have that much Royal Mint, Royal Mint stuff. Um, I have a crap load of the Canadian Royal Mint, um, US Mint, all that stuff, but I don't have that much of the Royal Mint. Um, so... I'm starting to buy a lot of Royal Mint stuff. Um, matter of fact, I have a huge order coming in of some beautiful um, coins from the Royal Mint. Um, I'm not going to uh, throw anything out there yet, but you should see when I post that video. Uh, just stay tuned for that because uh, it's really, really, really cool. And I think these coins will go up in value. Um, and I'm not saying like the Britannias. I, I, do not believe Britannias will go up in value, um, or most of the, you know, Royal Canadian Mint, or the Royal Mint, or Australia, the Perth Mint, anything with the Queen's phase on, I don't think it's going to go up in value, people are going crazy and buying everything with the Queen's phase on, especially the last year, you know, she died this year, so uh, everyone thinks the 2022s are going to go up in value, I don't think that's going to happen with every coin, the only coins that I think that might happen are with are, um, low mintage coins, commemorative coins, uh, first in a series, last in a series, stuff like that. Um, but I see a lot of people jumping the gun and buying a crap load of uh, Royal Mint stuff, thinking that th they're going to make a quick buck. Um, but you got you guys got to realize that the Queen's been on, our, on most of the coins. I would say out of m most of our stack, you know, Every damn coin we have, a good percentage of it has the Queen's phase on it. Not to mention, you know, sh there's a crap load of countries uh, in the Commonwealth that are, run, uh, you know, under the monarch. Um, I think there's like 54, 55 nations, something like that, um, that have the Queen's phase on them. And they had 70 years with the Queen's phase on them. And they've been pumping out these coins by the millions. So uh, you got to keep that in mind. 
Um, a lot of people think that they're going to go up in value, but matter of fact, I think she was in the Guinness World Record for like most most uh, phase on most on the most appearances on coins. So um, just do your homework. Um, don't go crazy and buying a crap load of uh, stuff with the Queen's phase on it because not everything is going to be worth value or go up in premium. Only certain items. But I am buying a lot of Royal Mint stuff recently because I don't have much. Um, I have a lot, a lot of silver and a lot, a lot of gold, but I just don't have much um, gold or silver from the Royal Mint. So I'm buying it up before um, the crap sells out. I already noticed on a lot of online bullion sites, even local coin shops are selling out of this stuff because people are going crazy because they think these coins are going to skyrocket in value. So I want to get my hands in order before the well is dry. So yeah, there it is. Beautiful 2021 Gold Britannia. These are stunning coins. And they're very, very secured coins. They have a, a lot of security features. I don't think they have much on the one tenth. Um, I think there's a few of them. But on the one ounce, I think there's like seven, six or seven security features. So it's a very, very safe coin uh, stack. Very hard to counterfeit. But yeah, guys. That's my one-tenth gold coin for the month of September. Just keep an eye out for that one-ounce gold coin. Um, that should be coming in soon. But all right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, and uh, let me know how you guys' uh, September is going. And uh, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me, and it helps the community. Thank you so much, guys, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Patriotic Stacker is out.